ever heard of candy beers? Well, stay tuned and we'll be right back with Black Tie Brewing Company. Hello, everyone. Uh, Maribel from Slow TV, and we are here in San Luis Obispo doing the Thai Brewing Company, and I am with the owner, Ty Armstrong. Hey, Ty. How you doing? Good. Thank you. Thank you for having us here today. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for coming out. Cool. So, Ty, can you just tell me a little bit of what is uh, Black Thai Brewing? Well, first, I'm going to give you a little bit of my history. I've been brewing home brewing for 14 years in San Luis Obispo County and uh, how I came up with this concept was a female friend of mine which is now my wife my fiance huh. at the time Her. yes Judy okay. uh, told me uh, one of my beers was a little bitter and she said she didn't like the hop uh, at the end of the palate and she said you should try to make a beer sweeter with less hop at the end mm. of the palate so I started uh, messing around with candy my grandmother was a cook at UCLA she taught me how to make candy, so I started infusing candy into my beer recipe. Like the actual hard candy? Mm-hmm, hard candies. Huh. Mm hmm So each beer that we make, we infuse a, a, a certain type of candy flavor that uh, goes with the beer uh, style, whether it be a IPA, a stout, or a porter. Got so it. all these beers have a different candy in them, uh, you know, in, in, in conjunction with type of beer that it may be, stout, you know, which is a Belgium, a porter, or IPA. So... You know, that's how we came up with the uh, concept of putting candy in the beers. And I would say three years down the line, uh, my wife came out with the, the notion to put fresh exotic fruits in there, like mangoes, strawberries, papayas, those types of things. So we started adding those things to the bottom foundation of the fruit. And she said, well, try specialty teas as well. So we started putting caffeine-free specialty teas in our beers as well. So we have three major ingredients in there. And it's on a beer foundation which is the water, the hops, the malt, and the yeast. So that's what makes it a beer. So it is a beer. It's just infused with different things and our homemade candy we make in-house right here in the condo kitchen. Well, we're gonna tour that in a minute. Yes, we will. Now, with that said, is this why um, Thai Brewing Company would be unique compared to any other brewing? Yes, uh, everybody else is, uh, they make the basic uh, four foundation beers. They add, maybe add some adjuncts rice or whatever we add fresh exotic fruits wow. caffeine fee specialty teas and candy flavors wow. to our beers wow. which gives them that unique and delicious bounce and we take them to shows all over the uh california coast and people go wow it's amazing where can i buy it where can i get them can i give you 20 dollars for a bottle oh. wow 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 so personal flavoring as far as your choice what would you recommend for our audience out there as far as that candy taste well you know without getting into my trade secret <laughs> you don't have to steal the secret you know candy taste uh we like to we use a different assortment of candies i could just say that and they have all different types of flavors you know we we can't we can't really get into what we put into our beers due Got to the it. fact that you know do you have a, a favorite? Beer? Well, you know, the passionate orange mango that you see here uh, won a bronze medal at the California Mid State Fair 2012. So uh, everybody told us these beers would never win awards. Well, that was fictitious, too. We have won an award. Oh, so that cool. goes to show you that this beer style that I have created is actually winning awards because it's quality and it's brewed with quality ingredients. That's really neat. Now, how long? does it take to actually make one bottle or i don't know how is it by cases that you make it uh when i've had deadlines to do shows like the california festival of beers will be at in 2015 i've been able to knock these out in seven days which mm. is unheard of sometimes five do you sleep not really i brew during that time frame i'm brewing uh, every day to get out four kegs of beer for that show wow. we will be there this year everybody so come on out to the california festival of beers Madonna Inn. When is that? Uh, I think that's on May 18th. Coming up? Yes. Coming up, coming up. Okay, now Ty, go ahead and tell our audience where they could actually find you. Well, we, we're still a startup company and we're seeking investors to help us get this in the stores and on the shelves and in the restaurants and bars. So you can't really find me yet because right. 
we have a company here that's doing business as black tie brewing but you know we are still trying to get production space money for production space licensing the whole nine and marketing as well so the reason for this video is we want everybody to know out there we need money <laughs> that's good that's good we keep it real here cool. we need money we need capital and we're seeking about a hundred to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to get everything up and rolling for the first three years of production well there you go folks any investors out there come check out Thai Brewing Company hit them up is there a number that they could call you yes, email I can, I can be reached at area code 805-556-5231 you can also check us out at Black Thai Brewing Company uh, blacktiebrewing.com tnacandybeer.com well thank you for having us thank again Ty alright Slow TV is outro check us out at slowtv.net and the show is produced by Miranda Marketing Labs at www.mirandamarketinglabs.com <laughs>